Hello and welcome. We're on day 17, which is how to read the Bible. Of course, when you become a Christian, some people are like desperate and think, well, where do I start? Where do I start? And often it's, you're encouraged to say, read the, um, one of the uh, Gospels, Luke or John. And uh, there are so many books out there to help you, like little notebooks that you can help get your daily devotion. What do you find helpful? Yeah, well, we're working through, as a church, we're working through the New Testament. So we've got a short portion of the New Testament, and then there's some notes that have been written by different people each day, which is just great. So as a church, we're all doing it together. We're all reading a few verses from the same part of the Bible together. And, um, yeah, I think that's good. I think it's really important that you... Uh, it's helpful to work through a gospel or start to yes. read the whole Bible. One. Yeah. The worst thing you can do is kind of that whole sort of, <laughs> oh God, I don't know what to pray, what should I go for? <laughs> Judas hung himself. <laughs> don't like that. Ooh, go and do likewise. <laughs> yeah. Whatever you do, do it quickly. I mean, it can be a dangerous approach, can't it? And so yeah. lifting verses out of context and all that sort of thing. So it's good to uh, work through and begin to you know, yeah. read the whole book. Yes. slowly yes. Um, so you get the the picture of the whole story of the bible that's helpful yeah and, and i found as well that, that over the years you i've come back to a book and started reading i was reading about deborah a few yeah. weeks ago and thinking i've never read that before yeah. or and i often will pray because it is it's not easy it's no. a different language you know yeah. you're looking at different vocabulary yeah. as well and it's for me i like to say god um bring your revelation to me from whatever I'm going to read. And like yeah. you say, it's easy to go, oh, I'll just read another psalm because I get that, you know, <laughs> I can sing that. But when you need a revelation and, and pray and say, Lord, I, I don't understand that. What does that mm. mean? Because yeah. um, for, for a lot of people, you know, reading is not an easy thing to do anyway. No, we've we've no. come out of that culture often of reading books. You know, mm. we're all on our phones and we're mm -hmm. all doing everything audio and visual. Yeah. And, and actually solidly going to read something and saying, what does this mean for me? How can yeah. I apply it to me? And uh, you know, I find different books helpful um, to just focus me on one thing. Um, I'm reading through, uh, I was given T Tim Keller's book, Rock and Refuge, mm -hmm. which is really easy to read because if you're doing it in the morning, you just yeah. like, oh, yeah. what shall I read? And just doing it systematically yeah. is really because it's not an easy thing to do. No. We're not we're not always reading, are we? No, no, no. That's right. And uh, so the thing to do is to find a time of day that works for you. I'm not yeah. a morning person, um, but I do try and do it in the morning. But just find that kind of 10, 15, 20 minutes, whatever it is you're going to do. And part of the thing with this course is that we're getting you in the habit of over 42 days. Spending some time with Jesus, pray, yeah. read some scripture, find out what it means. Yeah. Um, so it's all very helpful. Um, I, I have a little notebook, I write down a verse that's jumped out mm. at me. Uh, I think the thing with the scriptures is you're reading it, and there are different versions. We're very fortunate, aren't we? And we've both got different Bibles here. You've got, yes, I've got living. a very new living, I've got a very worn. Um, uh, yes, ESV. Very old. Yeah, it is. It's falling apart. Um, and <laughs> very used and loved, I should well, say. Well, indeed, not indeed. Uh, okay. And and this one would be um, kind of so with the translations. There, some of the translations are more kind of word for word translations, and they can be a little harder to read. Whereas some of them, yes. like that one, are a little bit more. Yeah. They've translated sentence by sentence to make it a bit more readable. Yeah. And so you need to pick a version that's good for you, mm. that, that works for you. English standards good. New Living translations good. Yeah. Um, good news is very simple English. Sometimes I go back to the good news. I've got an yeah. old good news that I had, when, you know, back back in the day. Yeah. And sometimes I'll pick that up and think, what does it say in the good news yeah. Bible, or what does it say in, say, the message or a different translation, yeah, yeah. just to get a feel of the whole context of a of a, a story, or um, a Bible verse or something. And I like writing down verses and perhaps sticking yeah. them up, saying. I, you know, maybe God has spoken to you a specific word. Yeah. Um, it, you can look at a Bible and think, oh, I've got to read it all. <laughs> Actually, you could go over the same chapter, oh, so the much. same, and keep coming back to it and, mm. you know, asking God for more revelation. And, mm. uh, and, and also finding a time that works for you. I, sometimes morning, sometimes afternoon, but planning it in. Yeah, if I don't plan it in and say, Lord, I need a time to mm. plan it in, then I, I just find something else to do, yeah, yeah. you know, oh, I must hang the washing out, or, <laughs> you know, or, or do something else. So I think planning it in and yeah. doing it diligently is, is important. I'm not, not always very good at that, yeah. 
but um, at least trying is, yeah, is good, yeah. and, and not doing it the same way as everybody else. Yeah. You know, do what find what you find helpful. If some people are more, or you know, they get it audibly, perhaps get an mm -hmm. audio Bible, yeah, and you can listen to it wherever you are. Or, mm -hmm. but, but it, it's ha you know yourself how you best. Yeah. Uh, yeah, read material. I think that's important. Yeah. And expecting God to speak to you through it. Yeah, no, not just definitely. reading a book. Yes. A story. Oh goodness. But expecting God. God, what are you saying? How can I apply it? Yeah. And and what does it mean? And yeah. and ask somebody else if you're not sure. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. really important, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. To ask for help. Absolutely. So we pray before, we read it, we try and understand it, we're looking, is there a command here? Is there a promise that I can claim? Yeah, is there something right, that yeah. I need to do? Yeah. And then we pray. I often yeah. pray the scriptures. So yes. you know, just the other day we were, we were talking about Ephesians uh, 3 and the love of God and I, I'll often pray, God would you send a spirit of wisdom and revelation? Would yes. you root me and ground me in love? God would you show me how big your love is? Yeah. You know, we pray back the scriptures to God and yeah. he loves that. And remembering that it's truth. So you have so many ideas spinning around the world. And, <laughs> and I remember we, we used to have a pastor who used, we used to say, ran, I used to say random things, and he would always say, Where does it say that? <laughs> and I'd be like, um, I think it says it here somewhere. You know, but knowing your truth, yeah. knowing, like we were talking about identity or other mm. scriptures, knowing what the truth says yeah. is like your weapon, yes. isn't it? Using Absolutely. your weapon that the. the, the the truth that actually brings freedom, yeah. and it's so important to know your Bible. It, yeah. You know, write it down. Yeah, Remember definitely. It. Yes. Underline it. That's why I still love. I mean, yeah. I have got the app on the phone and all that. Yes. But I love my paper Bible because it's got underlinings, so, little notes in, and that's good because yes. it helps us find passages. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's good stuff. Yeah. So get reading the Bible, folks. <laughs>